photograph because I have a lot to say and I have a lot to show. Um, I grew up with a speech impediment, actually. So I learned different ways to articulate besides just by speech. I was born and raised in Brooklyn and I moved up to Plattsburgh um, to go to nursing school. Originally, I wanted to go to nursing school um, because uh, I'm very empathetic and I'm very caring, um, but I fell in love with body anatomy um, and physiology, um, how it works and how it looks. Um, I think the human body is absolutely beautiful and it deserves to be photographed. This is a picture of me. It's taken in my home, and um, in it is a reflection of a tree I have um, inside. Um, it symbolizes the complexity of being a woman um, and how difficult it is to navigate roles and how um, autonomy is always um, given up, you know, if you're a woman. Um, being a woman is very complex and debilitating and the reflection of the tree is a symbol of um, a jungle inside, how it's difficult to navigate and how it's difficult to map a road ahead. A lot of these pieces are um, specifically about women, the power of women, uh, the power of nature and how they coexist. This is a photo of Lake Champlain. My friend and I were walking um, along the shores right in the middle of the pandemic. And it was a very isolating time, very cold, um, very lonely. Uh, the um, future was uncertain. And I think that this symbolizes the pandemic in entirety. I cover my women because um, I think that the body form is really something that I want to stand out. I don't really want the facial structures to have anything to do with the purpose of the photo. This photo is one that my male viewers seem to like a lot. It's really gritty, you know, and sort of rough. Um, it symbolizes the animalistic behavior that a lot of people have inside of them. My son really likes this photo a lot <laughs> as well. This is a photo of a statue I used to walk by um, with my infant son every day. It symbolizes the complexity of womanhood and transitioning into motherhood specifically. Um, it wasn't easy, but this statue holding the heavy flower pot gave me strength and reminded me that I have the strength to give my son what he needed. It's the most humbling experience in the world when um, people I don't even know come in and view my work and have something positive to say about it. It's incredibly awe-inspiring. You may see the Book of Eve exhibition at the Strand Center for the Arts Gallery in Plattsburgh, New York, from now until Friday, September 30th. Head to strandcenter.org for gallery hours. And to learn more about artist Katie Falzetta and her business, Dear Simon Photography, visit dearsimonphotography.com.
Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.